Meghan shed tears in vain. Sussex Duchess was branded as ungrateful and that minx by villain Camilla. Meghan Markle was branded that minx by Camilla, who also thought she was ungrateful, a royal expert claims. Tom Bauer, a royal biographer, has claimed that the two duchesses have never seen eye to eye, with future Queen Camilla reportedly suspicious of Meghan's intentions. Camilla, 74, remained is believed to have been tight-lipped with her opinions of Meghan, 40, after she was brought into the royal family by her stepson. Mr. Bauer believes that Harry and Meghan's silence was deliberate and an insult to the royal family after the Queen announced her wish for Camilla to become Queen Consort. He said, It is believed that she Meghan has never liked Camilla, and I am sure the feelings are reciprocated. From the outset, Camilla was suspicious about the adventurous from Los Angeles. But, as in all her conduct, Camilla remained tight-lipped. While watching Charles painfully believe that Harry was intent on publicly humiliating him, Camilla undoubtedly provided the comfort and good advice to reassure her husband that he had done the best he could. She could comfort him that while his authority is challenged by the Sussexes, he would emerge victorious. During those inevitably endless, tortured and inconclusive conversations, Camilla is the sort who would refer to Meghan as that minx, the self-seeking troublemaker whose antics will always end in tears. Meanwhile, Prince Charles is reportedly worried that Harry's latest controversial move will see him take aim at Camilla. He is worried that Harry's memoir will publicly blame Camilla for his childhood pain in his upcoming memoir. The Queen is also said to be very anxious for the revelations Harry could make in the tell-all book, set to be launched this year. The Sussexes were also noticeably silent over the Queen's announcement of Camilla's new role as Queen Consort. They made no public statement, with royal insiders saying their lack of response is a deliberate insult. The couple was thought to be making their big return to the UK for the Queen's Jubilee, but now it's been reported that Meghan has no intention of ever returning. Experts speculate upon the difference in rules Meghan Markle has followed when compared to her predecessor Duchess Camilla. This observation has been made by royal commentator and PR expert Kinsey Schofield during her interview with Express UK. She started off by providing a clear-cut difference between the styles of Duchess Camilla and Meghan Markle. She was also quoted saying, The biggest difference between the two women is that the Duchess of Cornwall prefers to let Prince Charles lead while she stays in the background. Meanwhile, the Duchess of Sussex does not follow the same rule and oftentimes outshines Prince Harry. Before concluding, she did make it clear that Meghan's intentions have never been to outshine her husband with a winner's mindset, but rather because they both see each other as equals. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle followed in the footsteps of Prince Charles and the late Princess Diana when they embarked on a 16-day royal tour of Australia, Tonga, New Zealand and Fiji in 2018. The Duke's parents travelled to Australia and New Zealand on their first overseas tour together, while the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's trip marked their second official engagement abroad together. What's more, the Sussex's tour, which saw them open the Invictus Games in Australia, was special for more than one reason, as royal photographer Zach Hussein has revealed.